ओके चैप्टर सिक्सटीन वर्स फोर लंबोदर्पो विमान क्रोध पारुष्यमे चम चाजात पार्थ संपद आसुरी दंभ प्राइड दर्प एरगेंस अभिमान कंसीट क्रोध एंगर पारुष्यम हार्शनेस अज्ञानम इग्नोरेंस दीज क्वालिटीज बिलोंग टू दोज ऑफ आसुरीम संपदम डिमोनियक नेचर वो सुनो प्रथा ओके सो व्हाट इज प्राइड आई कैन से व्हाट इज प्राइड हरे कृष्णा एनीबॉडी वांट्स टू व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ प्राइड बीइंग प्राउड okay <clears throat> so basically if we have something in our position some skill something special extraordinary different from others mm. feeling very accomplished feeling that i possess mm. that kind of iness is pride mm. arrogance is when this kind of pride translates into um into our behavior and it makes us somewhat rude disrespectful to others because i have i possess something great there is arrogance conceit is pride only but excessive pride excessive pride um uh, yeah conceit is excessive pride then anger harshness and ignorance mm. so these qualities belong to those of demoniac nature so if you see the whole material world today is full of these qualities no mm. actually in the material uh, in the work space especially those who are working if you don't have these qualities then you're considered a failure uh, you can't be just a humble nice person you can't achieve much so this is so ironical purport in this verse the royal road to hell is described the demoniac want to make a show of religion and advancement in spiritual science all they do not they do not follow the principles they are always arrogant or proud in possessing some type of education or some so much wealth they desire to be worshiped by others and demand respectability although they do not command respect so demand respect command respect command means because of uh, how a person uh, behaves etc etc automatically people give him respect that is command respect Mm, demand respect means that we ask saying hey you have to respect me don't you know over trifles they become very angry and speak harshly not gently they do not know what should be done and what should not be done mm, ignorance they do everything whimsically according to their own desire ah, i want to do this so i will do i don't care for any authority these demoniac qualities are taken on by them from the beginning of their bodies in the wombs of their mothers and they grow and as they grow they manifest all these inauspicious qualities so propa is saying these qualities are all there already there in built in born and they just manifest them or they just manifest them show them as they grow up in their dealings it is a very important was actually for a devotee i should be free from these qualities hmm 
my you know how difficult it is i'm struggling with this many of these so in bhakti also there is lab puja pratishta hmm. subtle especially when if we remain like a nobody we are not preaching we are not like doing kirtan we are not in the front anywhere then it's easy easier but if you are in the front then one can feel pride so these things are very important we have to like also chaitanya mahaprabhu says trinada pisu nichena tarora api saishnuna amanina manadina kirtanya sadahi so this trinada pi hmm, feeling like lower than the hmm, straw on the street uh, more tolerant than tree giving respect even if not given respect these are all completely opposite to these qualities of demoniac nature hmm it is not for devotees you should remember that most fight daivi sampad sampad vimokshaya nibandhaya suri mata masucha sampadam daivim abhijato si pandava the transcendental qualities are conducive to liberation whereas the demoniac qualities make for bondage do not worry o son of pandu for you are born with divine qualities so nice and krishna is assuring arjuna don't worry don't worry yeah. you are born with divine qualities this is showing love for arjuna hmm. do not worry not krishna encouraged arjuna by telling him that he was not born with demonic qualities his involvement in the fight was not demonic because he was considering the pros and cons he was considering whether respectable persons such as bhishma and drona should be killed or not so he was not acting under the influence of anger false prestige or harshness therefore he was not of the quality of demons for a kshatriya military man shooting arrows at the enemy is considered transcendental and refraining from such a duty is demoniac transcendental means basically varnashrama doing your duty mm, that way transcendental therefore there is no cause for arjuna to lament anyone who performs the regulative principles of the different orders of life is transcendentally situated yeah so this is what i was saying mm. why transcendentally situated because they are just doing their duty without attachment to it and that is transcending the three modes mm. and they may or may not be engaged in bhakti but they still transcend the modes and by doing that slowly they'll come to bhakti hmm. so these transcendental qualities are conducive to liberation and there's a long list that we saw last class 26 quali- qualities demoniac qualities are less in number um, but very difficult to get out of the devotee should endeavor for this but we don't have to separately endeavor our endeavor is built into the process itself by just simply following the process of devotional service we will develop all the good qualities and get rid of all the bad qualities but the important part is that we should endeavor earnestly we should engage in tivra bhakti so bhakti means without desire for karma or gnana Nah means no monism, no merging into Lord, and no karma, no intention for sense gratification. So if one engages like that sincerely and with intensity, then he will automatically develop these good qualities and lose, get rid of all the demonic qualities. It's verse six: Dwau bhuta sarga lokesmin daiva asura eva cha. दैवो विस्तरशाप्रोक्ताशुरुक्ताशुरुक्ताशुरुक्ता that is to say they abide by the injunctions in scriptures and by authorities one should perform duties in the light of authoritative scripture this mentality is called divine one who does not follow the regulative principles as they are laid down in the scriptures and who acts according to his whims 
is called demoniac or asuric. There is no other criterion but obedience to the regulative principles of scriptures. It is mentioned in Vedic literature that both the demigods and the demons are born of the Pratapati Kashyapa. Hmm. The only difference is that one class obeys the Vedic injunctions and the other does not. Hmm. So those who follow are called Devatas and those who don't follow are Asuras. Okay, verse 7. Pravrintim cha nivrittim cha janana vidurasuraha na saucham na pichacharo na satyam te shubhityate First time I read this verse, I felt all of these verses apply to me. When I realized the whole world is actually going on this, in this direction. Those who are demoniac do not know what is to be done and what is not to be done. Many times we see people in the material world, they don't know what is right, what is wrong. They just do whatever they feel like. Hmm? Neither cleanliness. Hmm. Actually, nowadays, nobody has time for all this. These are all finer aspects of life, cleanliness and all. Some maid will be there. She'll do whatever she does is cleanliness. That's who has time for all this. We have bigger things to deal with. Like what? Earning money and sense gratification. Neither cleanliness nor proper behavior. Cleanliness is also external also. External cleanliness is also not there. Internal cleanliness is also not there. Um, proper behavior, again, they don't know when time, place, circumstance, how to behave, what to be done. Hmm? Nor proper behavior, nor truth is found in them. They are happy to lie for their own mean ends. But what? In every civilized human society, there is some set of scriptural rules and regulations which is followed from the beginning, especially among the Aryans, those who adopt the Vedic civilization and who are known as the most advanced civilized people. Those who do not follow the scriptural injections are supposed to be demons. Therefore, it is stated that here that the demons do not know the scriptural rules, nor do they have any inclination to follow them. Just see, whole world. I have no idea of spiritual rules and they have no inclination to follow them. Most of them do not know them and even if some of them know, they have no tendency to follow them. They have no faith, nor are they willing to act in terms of Vedic injunctions. Mm, demons are not clean externally or internally. One should always be careful to keep his body clean by bathing, brushing teeth, shaving, changing clothes, etc. As far as internal friendliness is concerned, one should always remember the holy names of God and chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. The demons neither like nor follow all these rules for external and internal cleanliness. As for behavior, there are many rules and regulations guiding human behavior such as the Manu Samhita, which is the law of human race. Even up to today, those who are Hindus follow the Manu Samhita. Um, Laws of inheritance and other legalities are derived from this book. Now in the Manu Samhita, it is clearly stated that a woman should not be given freedom. That does not mean that women are to be kept as slaves, but they are like children. Children are not given freedom, but that does not mean that they are kept as slaves. Demons have now rejected such injunctions and they think that women should be given as much freedom as men. However, this has not improved, this has not improved the social condition of the world. Actually, a woman should be given protection at every stage of life. She should be given protection by the father in her younger days, by the husband in her youth and by the grown-up sons in her old age. This is proper social behavior according to Manu Samhita. But modern education has artificially devised the puffed up concept of womanly life. Puffed up. And therefore, marriage is practically now an imagination in human society. Nor is the moral condition of woman very good now. The demons therefore do not accept any instruction which is good for society. And because they do not follow the experience of great sages and the rules and regulations laid down by the sages, the social condition of the demoniac people is very miserable. But they don't think about it that way. Demoniac people don't look at their social condition and say this is very miserable. Hmm. But we can see that in the West. Uh, repeated divorces, parent, children without both parents. Oh. Oh, it's crazy. I mean, the whole society is so disgusting and dirty. 
but they don't so miserable they don't look at it that way do and all this is because of giving freedom to women previously they used to be protected actually it's so really shocking actually one of our devotees he made this statement specifically about mani samita in casually with his colleagues in office and one of the ladies actually took it so seriously that she put a racism like a case against him and he had to go to court he lost his job and become so messy because he made this statement saying that women have to give given protection by father and by husband and so on how oh, people can't even hear this message saying that they should be protected they should not act independently in a free whimsical way you know and they are not able to see that they are just being utilized you know actually see the whole uh, i used to experience this when i was working and it used to be so difficult many most women at workplace they do not even maintain distance like physical distance as in they don't even realize saying that they should keep distance from other men and all that just simply animalistic no consciousness the other day i was telling in some class saying that you know mm, society will change a lot if actually dressing sense of modern women change because we been now very badly influenced by the west and then some people were saying no no but maybe women cannot un- they, they don't they can't understand that it is disturbing others or it's provoking others i said like this is the last thing that women should say because previously women used to be so conscious about how they are presenting themselves they cover their head and shyness and all that and now we reach a stage where we, women themselves are saying maybe other women are not aware of this i i it actually it provoked my thoughts saying that how is it possible as in it's uh, it's almost like second nature to women these things how is it that people are just losing these things and it has become alien now thinking about uh, decency of dressing and all that it's just gone out of the door all this is a result of freedom that was given or that was taken by women in the west resulting in a disastrous society which is now coming to india and nobody wants to take uh, you know note of that people are still wanting to follow the same way of life unfortunate so this is demoniac they don't know what is right what is wrong what needs to be done what should not be done nothing no idea no cleanliness no proper behavior no okay was it asatam asatyam apratishtam te jagadahur anishwaram aparasparasambhutam kim manyat kama haitukam they say that this world is unreal with no foundation no god in control they say it is produced of sex desire and has no cause other than lust the demonia conclude that the world is phantasmagoria meaning some kind of like imagination some kind of magic illusion there is no cause and effect no control or no purpose everything is unreal they say that this cosmic manifestation arises due to chance material actions and reactions chance they do not think that the world was created by god for a certain purpose they have their own theory that the world has come about in its own way and that there is no reason to believe that there is god there is a god behind it for them there is no difference between spirit and matter and they do not accept the supreme spirit everything is matter only and the whole cosmos is supposed to be a mass of ignorance according to them everything is void and whatever manifestation exists is due to our ignorance in perception hmm they take it for granted that all manifestation of diversity is a display of ignorance mm, beautiful colors in the roses that krishna has created is all ignorance just as in a dream we may create so many things which actually have no existence so when we are awake we shall see that everything is simply a dream but actually although the demons say that life is a dream they are very expert in enjoying the dream and propa is like 
amazing brilliance logic hmm, you call it a dream then why are you trying to enjoy the world hmm or they're expert in enjoying this dream and so instead of acquiring knowledge they become more and more implicated in their dreamland they conclude that as a child is simply the result of sexual intercourse between man and woman his world is born without any soul for them it is only a combination of matter that has produced the living entities and there is no question of existence of the soul my other thing is matter as many living creatures come out from a perspiration and from a dead body without any cause the whole living world has come out of the material combinations of the cosmic manifestation which means that it's just a matter at some point of time something happened and then this got created there is no god there is no controller nothing hmm. therefore material nature is the cause of this manifestation and there is no other cause they do not believe in the words of krishna maya dikshena prakriti suyate sacharacharam under my direction the whole material world is moving they don't want to believe that in other words among the demons there is no perfect knowledge of the creation of the world every one of them has some particular theory of his own according to them one interpretation of the scriptures is as good as another but they do not believe in a standard understanding of the scriptural injunctions how crazy they say everything is unreal everything is just formed because of by matter and everything here is also produced of this sex desire and there's no other cause other than lust that's it no god no spirituality no correcting your ways nothing because anyway it is all unreal so why bother just wait for it to get destroyed which means that just wait to die and then over no uh, no spirit everything is matter so there's no question of taking another body after death crazy verse 9 etam drishtim avastabhya nashtatma nashtatmanolpa buddhayah prabhavanti ugra karmanah chayaya jagato hitah following such a conclusion the demoniac were lost to themselves and who no intelligence hmm nashta they are lost and no, no intelligence engage in unbeneficial horrible works meant to destroy the world so far now says what kind of horrible works they do the demoniac are engage in activities that will lead the, to the the world to destruction the lord states that they are all less intelligent the materialists who have no concept of god think that they are advancing but according to bhagavad gita they are unintelligent and devoid of all sense hmm. we think that we are most advanced at this point of time much much more than previous years proper is saying that unintelligent devoid of all sense they try to enjoy this material world to the utmost limit and therefore always engage in inventing something for sense gratification so everything that has been invented in this material world is for sense gratification how is that take for example uh, washing machine why is that for sense gratification because you reduce time to wash your clothes and use that time for sense gratification simple hmm. so every all inventions are just for sense gratification such materialistic inventions are considered to be advancement of human civilization but the result is that people grow more and more violent and more and more cruel cruel to animals and cruel to other human beings make machinistic civilization all machine 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 so our we also become like machines they have no idea how to behave toward one another animal killing is very prominent amongst demoniac people such people are considered the enemies of the world because ultimately they will invent or create something which will bring destruction to all mm, indirectly this verse anticipates the inventions of invention of nuclear weapons of which the whole world is today very proud at any moment war may take place and these atomic weapons may create havoc such things are created solely for the destruction of the world and this is indicated here due to godlessness such weapons are invented in human society so who are invented this atomic bomb nuclear bomb they were given all this prize that prize some big big prizes hmm proposing this is all just godlessness they are not meant for peace and prosperity of the world hmm such a really 
uh, I mean, completely different way of looking at this world, right? When we go through, read Bhagavad Gita and see the world through it, it just looks like we are in a completely, we are really in an illusion, thinking uh, about what progress is, what development, advancement is, etc. Okay, we'll do this verse. Verse 10. Kamam ashritya dushpuram dambham manam madhanvitah moha grihita grihitva sadgrahan pravartante shutitratah Taking shelter of insatiable lust which cannot be satisfied. Insatiable lust and absorbing conceit of pride and false prestige. The demoniac does illusion are always prone to unclean work attracted by the impermanent. The demoniac mentality is described here. The demons have no satiation for their lust. They go on increasing and increasing their insatiable desires for material enjoyment. No satisfaction. Although they are always full of anxieties on account of accepting non-permanent things, they still continue to engage in such activities out of illusion. They have no knowledge and cannot tell that they are heading the wrong way. Accepting non-permanent things, such demoniac people create their own god, create their own hymns and chant accordingly. The result is that they become more and more attracted to two, two things, sex enjoyment and accumulation of material wealth. The word asuchi prataha, unclean vows, is very significant in this connection. Such demoniac people are only attracted by wine, women, gambling and mediating. And look at this, I mean the whole society, uh, what do people do after work? Only this, right? People want to hang out, drink wine, gamble, eat meat. That's it. Those are their ashuchi, unclean habits. Induced by pride and false prestige, they create some principles of religion which are not approved by Vedic injunctions. Although such demonia people are most abominable in the world, by artificial means, the world creates a false honor for them. Some they, they like I know when I was working, there used to be a discussion saying that who can drink the maximum number of you know beer or whatever without uh, losing his control and you know, you know somebody who can do a lot more is like ah see i can do like this as in falls honor although they are gliding toward hell they consider themselves very much advanced oh, really i mean crazy anyway you know, this is the condition of the world, but when we, when it is so vividly described in Bhagavad Gita, it's just uh, shocking saying that though this knowledge is so easily available, the whole world doesn't know it. So it is really our... Now, responsibility to distribute this knowledge to others. Mm-hmm. People are in ignorance and we can't just let them to be in ignorance. That is violence. Uh, so says violence means if you don't give help people out of their ignorance, that's violence. So we should take this knowledge, give it to others so that they can also make come out of this ignorance and become human beings. Now oh, they're all demons. Okay. I'll stop here. Anybody has any questions? I can try to answer. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. This demonic quality, whatever you're telling, is actually like it's increasing as uh, days progressing. Yeah. But in the like yeah. period, right? Will it actually like um, will it decrease or how it is? Mm. How it is? Actually, so um, 10,000 years golden period, this will reduce. Mm. But then the um, the um, as the effect of the golden period starts decreasing towards the end of the golden period, mm, then again these things will increase. Mm. So actually we can imagine, we can understand this when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came 500 years back, he went to all South India complete tour and he made everybody a devotee. Now just see what is the state today already. Right? So again, but still because there are there are 10,000 more years, 9,500 more years to go in the golden period. So it will increase the uh, 
bhakti will increase goodness will increase people will become less demoniac um, but again towards the end again it will increase the demoniac nature will increase mm. but there will always be a class of demoniac people but just that the percentage or their influence on the society will reduce so actually now is the time the um, golden period actually should take should become stronger now in the next few years uh, we will see how it will manifest uh, krishna has his plans but it it has to manifest now okay Hare Krishna. Anand Prabhu. Thanks, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Then we'll close. Swami Chakalpata Rupis Chakrapas and Dupyo Chakrapata Anam Khan and Bhavishnu Vidyo Namon Namaha and then the Koti Vaishnu Vidyo Namon Namaha and then the Koti Vaishnu Vidyo Namon Namaha and then the Koti Vaishnu Vidyo Namon Namaha. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.